Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's my Andy here today and I'm back with another video. If this is your first time for seeing my face, you're welcome. Don't forget to subscribe if you have not subscribed yet and click that notification bell icon after you subscribe, okay? So today guys, I'm going to be doing a very requested video. A lot of you guys have asked me this question offline and online, friends and family. They've asked me this question, how do you edit your videos? How do you film with your phone and all that? So I'm going to be making, I'm going to be dedicating this video for just that answer. I'm going to be showing, sharing with you guys the apps I use to edit, how I do my thumbnails, how I actually film with my phone. So if you've been wondering or want to start a YouTube channel, you don't know how to start a YouTube channel with your phone, or you just want to make videos and exist with your phone, but you don't know how to go about it, I'm going to actually share with, with you in this video. I hope you guys enjoy this. So now let's go straight into this video. channel for you to start filming with your phone you should have a phone that has camera i don't know the kind of phone you want to be using but the phone i'm using currently is samsung a7 2018 is a samsung phone i'm going to put a picture of the phone because that's what i'm using right now so i can actually show you guys the phone but i'm going to put the picture on the screen so that you guys see the type of phone i'm using it's quite affordable if that's what you want to go for there are other affordable samsung that are very very good the camera are very very good okay and i'm using the front camera not the back camera for now the back camera sometimes i use it the front camera sometimes i use it but right now what i mean to film this video is the front camera not the back camera so number one thing you need to know first of all is to have a good camera a good phone that has camera so when you get a phone that has camera it can be techno it can be nokia that has camera it can be samsung it can be um an iPhone as well just have a good phone that has camera but so guys another thing you should know is that there's an app you can also use any of your phone that's why I say you can use any Android and your video your camera is going to make sense there's this app that is called open camera that's what I, I use whenever I want to film a YouTube video I like this camera because you can actually change you can lock your exposure they actually lock your exposure that it doesn't make the lightning to go on and off you just make it stable and you can also increase the brightness and all that good stuff so i like using open camera so if you want to start a youtube channel and you have an android phone or apple phone as well you can download this app called open camera so now let's go into the editing app <laughs> editing app you should have on your phone is Filmora Go app. This is the app. This is how it looks like. And always on your iPhone and your Android. It's super amazing. That's the app I'll be using to edit my phone from day one. Okay. That's the app I'll be using to edit my phone day one. And it's very simple to use. This is very, very easy and very reliable. The app, when you're using the app, okay, at the end of the video, it shows something like Filmora Go is actually a free app. You don't have to pay any amount of money to use it. It's very, very free. Okay. But at the end of the video, at the end of you editing a particular video, it shows a logo that says Filmora Go. I don't know if I'm going to put in something that relates to it inside this video. I don't know. But if I don't, it shows something like Filmora Go. So to take up that, it's all be editing a video, then posting it on YouTube. Then when people watch on YouTube, video to the end and they will not see Filmora go it doesn't really make sense so the another way to take it up is to download another app called do recorder i download you can also use any other app that can trim videos okay do recorder i downloaded do recorder because it, it, it enables me to trim that um, logo that is at the back of Filmora go trim it out and i have to save the video that's when i upload my video so there's another app you can also use this Paradirector app which I'm using currently now. I started using Paradirector app because I feel like it's way really, way really easier than Filmora Go. But the the other side of Paradirector is that you have to pay for it. But right now I've not actually paid for it because it's not accepting my my Naira card. So I've not paid for it. That's why I've seen their logo somewhere down here. 
but if you've not paid for it, you can still enjoy the app to, a, to an extent, not to the fullest, okay? To an extent, you can enjoy the app, and that's what I'm still using for now to like find out how I'll be able to pay for it. So if you know you're watching this video and you, you're using Paradise, I'll put, put it down in the comment section. If you're in Nigeria, how did you pay for your Power Director app? So guys, another app you can also use that I'm not using, in case you're, you're wondering if you don't like Filmora app, you don't like you don't like Filmora Go, you don't like Power Director, you'd rather have to use this kind master, kind name master or something. I, for once they use that app, so I don't really know how it is, but a lot of YouTubers use that app and they say it's very, very good. So you can also try it out and use. So the next thing I'm going to be saying is, how I edit my thumbnail. So guys, thumbnail is that particular picture that you see before you click a particular video on YouTube. That is what thumbnail is. So before I, should, if I want to edit my thumbnail, I have another app for my thumbnail. I use Canva and Snapseed, okay? Canva can you can bring in pictures, you can bring in text. Snapseed, why well, I use Snapseed because for you to edit the picture I want to put first, you know, let the picture be very very fine before I put it on my Canva because Canva will not edit the picture. Only Snapseed will edit the picture. So the two app I use for my thumbnail is Canva and Snapseed. It's super super easy. If you're having any issue with any of the app I'm mentioning. Just put it in the comment section. If you're using any other app that is way, way simpler, that you think this one was complicated for you, feel free to put it as well there in the comment section so it can help other people to learn, okay? So guys, the next thing I'm talking about is my lightning. So currently, I'm using a ring light, no natural light. I'm using ring lights for now, but most times I feel my video is always natural light. Why I'm using ring lights is because there is light. <laughs> there is power supply. When there's no light, I usually use natural light. But when there's light, I use ring lights. And when I started my YouTube channel, I didn't have ring lights. So most of my videos, most of my videos, if you're following me from day one, you will know that I use natural light. How can you get your natural light? All you need to do is sit down directly opposite your window directly opposite your window that is how you should sit down directly opposite your window then you can get a lot of natural light don't go far away from your window don't go far away from your door if it's your door you want to use the light coming out from your door maybe you have to open your door down open your windows open all of that then you can enjoy your natural light don't go far away from your window because the video is going to get very dark. Enough money to get a ring light. You can go for the ring light and also use your natural light with the ring light. It makes the video very fine because if you don't have enough lightning, your camera is not going to be fine, your editing is not going to be fine as well, okay? So when you're filming your video, you should know that your lightning is the bomb, <laughs> okay? So guys, the next thing I'm talking about is the stand I use for my video. I am using my ring light stand. My ring light comes came. My ring light came with a phone holder that I'm using with my phone right now to film. Okay, so if you when I started my YouTube channel, honestly, I didn't have a stand for like six months. I didn't have a stand. I didn't have a ring light. <laughs> okay, so another way you can actually use a stand if you're facing directly the window when you're filming your video, just put your phone close to the window and sit down and film. Life is easy, <laughs> okay. But if you're filming somewhere, maybe you're filming a cooking video, a tutorial video, you should maybe place books and put your phone, just set it. You just set it. If you don't have a stand, you don't have security, you don't have to say, oh, because I don't have a stand, I won't start up a YouTube channel. No, you can actually improvise. You don't need a, a professional stand. You can improvise by placing books together, placing newspapers, placing plastics, so that you can put your phone on top and film your video. The most important thing is let the video come out well and let your content make sense. The way you're filming it, the way... It, 
the way you place your phone, the kind of lights you're using doesn't consign people that are watching. What they want to know is your video comes out well and your content is making sense. Okay. Another thing I want to talk about is memory card. <laughs> is very important if you have a phone that is maybe 16 gig 8 gig mm -hmm. you need extra memory card because imagine you're filming a sit, a sit down video for 20 minutes and that 20 minutes is not going to be actually be 20 minutes maybe 30 minutes because you cannot just be perfect for that 20 minutes you have to pause stop make mistake cut and all of that stuff so you have and you have to you have to get extra memory card extra memory card if you're using an android phone if you're using an iphone you should know that if you get iphone that has a lot of gig 32 gig 32 gig iphone you're not going to enjoy your videos you're not going to enjoy making videos you won't be able to have a lot of videos on your phone you'll be conscious of the of the memory card of your space because it's your phone you're going to have other things on the phone like your pictures your normal videos your normal you know things on your phone it's your personal phone okay so you have to have extra memory card that you will use for your filming i have you i hope this video makes sense i hope you enjoyed this video if you find this video very very helpful you watch this video to this end and you have not yet give this video a thumbs up what are you waiting for? Give the video a thumbs up, comment if you find it helpful, share it to your friends and family, subscribe to my channel as well. And any further question, any further thing you want to add, just put it in the comment section or you contact me, my email address down in the description box below. And I'm going to give you guys a reply. So I'm going to end this video right there and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.